that they're clear on. All right, this is her. This is Robin right here. Let's watch it as it comes in. Now, let's pick up the audio from the side if we can. Relentless in their skill and courage, not only in the air, but also on the ground. These brave soldiers have forged for themselves a place of honor in America's history. The past, present, and in the future. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Sergeant Jared Zell, originally from West Lafayette, Indiana. It has been my proud honor to fly in our nation's colors on this, my 2,647th free fall parachute job. All right, it's a single job. I will narrate jumper. for you today a demonstration of precision free fall as performed by members of your United States Army parachute team, the Golden Knights. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention high overhead to your right. Our distinctly painted C-31 Friendship aircraft is inbound for the last pass of today's performance. At this time, the Jumpmaster is actually looking out of the left door of the aircraft. His head is outside in the wind and the cold. Through a series of hand-and-arm signals, he is relaying heading corrections to the pilot, maneuvering the aircraft to a precise exit point for the jumpers. Watch closely as you may see the nose of the aircraft move slightly left or right in response to the steering instructions. Ladies and gentlemen, a cross-arm signal and hot target. A thumbs-up signal, stand by. Please watch for jumpers to exit the aircraft. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the distinct honor of jumping with the 41st President of the United States, George Herbert Walker Bush. The jumpers are out. The Terror instructor reaches back and releases the drogue parachute. It is white in color. It slows the fall rate down to 120 miles per hour. The outside jumpers sit up slightly above and outside the formation, awaiting the tandem instructor's call. He waves his arms at 9,000 feet, signaling the jumpers to fly to the formation. Using their hands, arms, legs, and shoulders as flight controls, they safely complete the formation. The formation continues to fall as the free fall photographer soul girls the formation. At 5,000 feet, the team leader waves his arms, signaling the jumpers to perform on bomb burst maneuver. This is our salute to the attendance of today's show. And there you have the high-flying black and gold of your United States Army Parachute Team, the Golden Knights. George Herbert Walker Bush was born in Milton, Massachusetts on July 12, 1924. He became a student leader at Phillips Academy. All right, that is uh, Robin Mead. You can, we can confirm it by the yellow suit. And here she comes. Sergeant Kurt Eisenberger is tandemed with her. And she is just about to touch down. What a great picture. He was shot down by Japanese anti-aircraft fire and was rescued by the water by a U.S. submarine. He was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross for bravery in action. This was the former president's first parachute jump out of an aircraft while in flight. Since then, Mr. Bush has accomplished... Oh, two what a beautiful landing. Jumps. That's so nice. That is just time. perfect. Right That's on the money. Birthday, There's the Robin. Birthday, the <laughs> oh, my goodness. Birthday, a milestone that we have the distinct honor in sharing. Joe she Jennings, it's hard to take this for granted. You know what I mean? It, it is. I'll tell you what. She is probably one of the happier people on the planet right now. <laughs> Look at her. She, yeah. Yeah, she just had a great time. Yeah, absolutely. Isn't this wonderful? All right, she's got a microphone. I think we're gonna uh, we're gonna come to her in just a second. It couldn't have gone any better. And here she is. This is a beautiful golden night landing. I just came here to the landing, and President Bush 41 is right behind me. There he is with his uh, ladies and gentlemen. Partner. I want to ask As you can imagine, this jumper is focused on the landing area, turning his parachute in. Showing you the minor corrections he makes with the steering lines. Here comes President Bush. For yet another beautiful yeah. golden night landing. No, that's another scan. Okay. Oh, that was it. Now that was the videographer. Please A little watch. trouble picking up uh, Robin's audio. I apologize. I hope down. you can make it. Uh, you pit, here. Okay, so Slowing it down. down. Another solo jumper. Right landing. Right above me, right here. I think the former president is out of the plane, though, perhaps maybe a couple of minutes away. Let's, let's see if we can pick up Ross. The U.S. Army parachute team, Lieutenant Colonel Anthony Dill, is bringing his parachute into the target area at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, please give him a big round of applause. He will try to land as close as possible to you. So, watch. You have got the radiographers, guys who jumped with him, and he's coming up there. So it's going to be a couple of minutes, I think. And showing you the minor corrections he makes with the steering lines. Slowing his parachute down for yet another beautiful Golden Knight landing. Last year, and uh, I wanted him to tell her, tell her comes what, what are you getting? He'll be able to tell Ladies you and gentlemen, today's army is a very technological force. We have more computers than I'm sorry, we just can't hear. 
I invite you to learn about the many ways to become Army strong. And you can you can hear the live coverage there from Kennebunkport, Maine, as Bush 41, 84 years young, sailing over Kennebunkport. Joe Scarborough, you're with me watching this. Right. Uh, this is pretty incredible. He, he, it is incredible. And uh, I, you know, looking at uh, George Bush, uh, Bush 41, I, I am reminded, though, too, one other thing that Republicans would do well to do is, uh, like President Bush, uh, be willing to tip your hat to people on the other side, to be temperamentally moderate, even if you're, you're politically conservative. Um, and uh, he is an extraordinary man, no doubt about it. I, I question the wisdom of doing this at his age. So but Barbara Bush, but she's apparently given up fighting, uh, fighting him off because he seems to do it every couple of years. I mean, this is just amazing. He did it last, I think, in 2007. And he just is indefatigable. Yeah, He's got his whole family there. Bush 41, 43 is there, and Jeb, and Neil, and Doro, and the whole gang is arrayed there. You've been up there at Kennebunkport. I've been there. We've been uh, watching the Bushes over these many years, and this is just amazing. You know, you and as you point as you point out, Joe, Bush 41 working with Bill Clinton and others of his former rivals on good works around the world. No doubt about it, and he comes in for a landing here, and you talk about his family there. I have uh, I've spent some time with uh, Bush 43 privately and Jeb Bush privately, and both of those gentlemen quietly, when nobody's watching, when the cameras aren't turned on, talk about, Jeb Bush will tell you any time you talk about his father, he said, it's the greatest man I've ever met in my life. They have remarkable respect for this man, as do most people that know him personally. I mean, I've known him for many years. I covered, of course, President Bush as vice president, and then uh, when he was in the White House. And just watching him now, this is extraordinary. He's 85 years old. He's on the lawn. There he is with Barbara Bush of their beloved Kennebunkport retreat. You know, Joe, when he first was elected, I was covering the transition there back in, uh, back in November of 88. And he hadn't yet taken office, and we descended on poor Kennebunkport, that community, as a press corps. And so he just gave up and invited us all in for wine and cheese. <laughs> and they took us on a tour of, he took us on, on a complete tour of the house, yeah. including, I hate to admit it, he took me into the, the powder room upstairs and said, take a look out this window, this is the best view of the ocean. <laughs> wow, that is uh, something you know. Like a lady. <laughs> <laughs> no, no skidding across on my knees. I came in like a lady, she said. Okay, so um, is Barbara going to let you do this again? Not sure. till my 90th birthday. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? And Barbara, are we ever going to see you do this? Never. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great. Wasn't it fun? It, it, was, it was so much fun. It really Did was. It was funny when you first started out. I felt a little funny when I first started out in that I really felt the free fall. They say, yeah. um, you know, I really felt like I was leaving out of a plane. Did you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Who, whose lap did you sit on? Uh, whose lap did I sit on, she asked. Come over here. This is Sergeant Kurt Eisenbarger. He was a national skydiving champion. You guys still see me over there? Um, and this is Sergeant Kurt Eisenberger. We're live on the air right now. Can okay. you guys still see me? Chuck, can you see me? I can. You're doing great. Congratulations. Okay, all right. So, um... This is the gentleman who, she said that you helped me come in like a lady. All right. Well, that's what we trained to do, and I'm glad that that's what you look like. Thank you to the Army and the Golden Knights, and thank you so much for letting me be a part of this oh, day. We love you. Well, you probably want to go follow that man. Well, I've done it for 64 years. I guess I can still <laughs> follow him. So keep up with him. Hey, Kurt, um, how did the landings look for both parties? I thought they were both great. Uh, everybody okay. stood up, and we came and landed in the target area. And uh, like I said, the, the amount of training we do, we uh, we train land in all types oh, yeah. of environments. You didn't see them land, did you? They were no. unbelievable. Truthfully, the first man landed in the middle of the cross. Oh, right. Yeah, right on the target. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Then they took the target away. Then they took the target away. Well, now what's going on over here? We're getting off. We're getting our jumpsuits off. Um, should I be also taking this jumpsuit off? You can keep it on. Okay. Occasion, or we 
All right. And Mr. Bush is going over to see the rest of the media here. Any final thoughts about how we did? Got a clean X bar. <laughs> you know what? We'll get we'll get you taken care of. We'll get you taken care of. Um, so Chuck, what an opportunity. Absolutely. What, what an opportunity. Absolutely. Yeah, this he's is... going to come over here and answer the press's questions. Yeah. Hey, when you were taking off, did they did they say we may not do this because the clouds are too low? Um, not when we were taking off, but all day leading up to it, there was this this chance that they were going to call. I think what he just said, I'm told, is well, we made it. <laughs> I've seen him recently where he's. I feel wonderful. Let's listen. I'm very grateful to these Golden Knights with whom I've jumped several times before, and it's a great exhilarating feeling. I don't feel day over 84. <laughs> this was your seventh jump. How is it different? Well, it's kind of the same as the last one, although each one is a little different, but it was just wonderful. You just feel exhilarated and, and uh, uh, rewarding. You know, I, I, I love these guys, so jumping with them. I've jumped with Mike two or three times before, sitting on his lap, and he does all the work. But still, you still get a feeling that you're flying high and loving it. What did, what did Mrs. Bush say to you when you landed? She, well, <laughs> I think she was happy. <laughs> no, she. What did she say to you this morning before you went on? The no, trip? she's been very supportive. She, she gets, she teased me. Said, "Well, it's a good thing you're doing it at the church. It's only very little far to move you, you know." But, but, uh, it, she, she's been supportive all along, and they, these guys know that. They, she's, she's very good about it. Do a lot of people say to you, "Why are you celebrating your birthday like this? Why, why aren't you home, say, you know, playing golf?" Or on the couch. Well, two reasons I not, can't play golf anymore, but I still can ju jump out of a plane. But no, there's two reasons for doing it. I've told these guys. One of them is that it feels good. There's an exhilaration, especially when you just start out of the plane. You feel exhilarated, you get charged up and excited. And that's not easy to do at 85. And then, and then the other one is it sends a message around the, with these guys all around the globe. Just because you're an old guy, you don't have to sit around drooling in the corner. Get out and do something. Get out and enjoy life. Is and this so, your last jump? huh? Is this your last jump? Until I'm 90. Are you going to do another one when you're 90? Yes, I am. <laughs> Get the boys over here. President, come here. <laughs> come on, Gabbard. Gabbard. Have a news blanket. No, we didn't. <laughs> Did you feel any nervousness or fear, or what was it like right before? Well done. Yes, sir. That was awesome. It was awesome. Governor, doing, doing good. These are two of my boys on my birthday. So, are you guys planning to skydive with Eddie Johnson? Uh, no. <laughs> He's thought about it. Not until the landing. Not. A, I wasn't worried the least bit. Were you worried, Robin? Um. I, Be honest. I wasn't worried about you. Handled it. She yeah, did. Yeah. She Happy handled birthday. Well. I think it's awesome. 85 year old guys jumping out of airplanes on his birthday. I'm just curious what you had for breakfast this morning, sir. <laughs> you can find it out there in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. No, no, it's really exciting and wonderful. And I'm so glad to be alive and glad my family's all with me here. We, we got Darrow and. and uh, Neil and Marvin are there. Are they here? You didn't summon yeah, them. Oh, we didn't summon them? Oh, okay. So how would you anyway. compare this jump to your first jump, which was during World War II, and you were 20 years old? Well, no comparison. That was that was under adverse conditions. The plane was burning, and I did it wrong. I hit my head on the tail of the plane, and parachute hung up momentarily on the aileron, so it ripped some of the panels out. It was quite, <laughs> quite different. But uh, this was this was this is great. Just Mr. wonderful. Mr. President, can you explain the feeling when describe to us the feeling when you go get out of the plane and you're in free fall? Well that that part is fine. I mean the first the only scary part is when you first look out, even though you're hooked on to somebody now. And uh, I don't know what do you think, Robin? The first look out the door and you say, What the heck am I doing? And then it all happens so fast you're just ready to go. I hear you wanted to spend, a, you requested to spend a long time under the canopy. For well, the as long as we could. We, 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 I forget what altitude we went at today. Oh, where did you go at, Mike? Uh, 10,500 feet, sir. Mike, you should get in here. Yeah. 10-5. Yes, sir. The <laughs> He's my man. There you go. Mr. President, you want to go again? Sure.
My 90th birthday, I've already announced it right here. Which is harder, doing this or say getting a bill passed through Congress? <laughs> getting a bill for me, I don't know how this president feels, getting a bill passed through Congress, much harder. This isn't hard. You got professionals know what they're doing and they just relax and enjoy it. All right, Dad, good. Thank you all very Thank much. You all. Thank you. Happy birthday. Happy Robin, birthday. thanks. Thank you, President fun. Bush. Appreciate it so okay. much. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. let, let me ask your son really fast here. Um, okay, so what are you going to do to keep active until you're 85? <laughs> I'm riding mountain bikes. He <laughs> <laughs> did today. He went, to go. He went yeah. out this morning. Thank you so much, and for um, everybody who's watching on Headline News, HLN, thank you very much. And thanks to the Army. Aww. And thank you to so much to the Golden Knights as well. Oh, Happy birthday. We're glad you were born. Well, I'm so glad you arranged all. Neil, did you meet Robin? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're on there oh, right oh, now. <laughs> Chuck, he's just comfortable. He's just he comfortable in this it situation, so that's for sure. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Mr. President. Hey, were you scared? All right, so, um, Admit, uh, fess up. Were you scared? Yeah. Were you? Yeah, you know, I, I got to tell you, I'm one of those people, um, because of what I do for a living in front of the camera, that knowing that the camera was there, and we'll show you um, video from the actual jump. There were right. videographers jumping with us, uh, so we'll be able to show you that. Knowing the camera was there, I kept saying, I'm doing this for my job, and don't look stupid for the camera. <laughs> you know, don't, like, totally scream your head off. So um, that helped temper my um, nervousness. But, yeah, yeah, I was, I was scared. We're all yeah. proud of you. Bob, Are you kidding me? Bob is I keep especially joking proud of you. That I, yeah, Robin, it's Bob. Bob. Yeah, I, I'm still here. I was looking at Hi, your uh, forecast the whole time. How was it? You remember you asked me on Wednesday, how's the forecast look? And I said, well, I'm giving you a 70% chance of getting airsick. You beat me. You did it. You, you beat the odds. Hey, as I, I don't know if you can see the beautiful sky, but it was just like, um, you know, a greater forest time that, that the sky was going to.